hey guys welcome to my channel it's worry babe here with another hair tutorial for you guys today i'll be installing some crochet twist over my locks so if you'd like to see how i go from this to this continue watching so i decided to start my lock journey a few weeks back and when toya trust beauty supplier reached out to me to send their crochet twist i was a little bit skeptical on how i would make this work but i never backed down from a challenge so i was like send it over we're gonna figure this out they sent me eight packs of the color 1b mixed with color 30 and i actually picked it out because i really wanted some color in my hair I had the brilliant idea of attaching the crochet hair to my individual locks and then twisting them together. Now that sounded pretty easy but as I worked through the hair, here are some things that I noticed. Number one, I should have redone my twist, okay? My um, individual locks definitely needed a retwist. I had gone to the pool like a day before and it just wasn't, you know, as tight as it could be. And this ended up affecting um, the crochet, right? Just attaching the crochet to my own hair. Because the parts were so loose, it was a little bit harder to make the knot that connected my hair and the crochet hair, okay? This brings me to point number two. Because I didn't retwist my hair, my parts just aren't as crisp as I'd like them to be. Like, it's not giving, I just got my hair done, you can see the, the crisp parts, the, the fine part. Like, I feel like I wasn't able to achieve that. And you know, I don't really love it. I don't love the fact that my parts aren't crisp, but it's not too bad. You can still kind of see that I have some parts or some definition there. It's just not as clear as, you know, a fresh do. Okay, my third point has to do with how full the hair uh, turned out. So I knew that I had a little over 150 locks in my head i didn't have the exact number but i just knew it was more than 150 and toya trust mentioned that there were 30 pieces in each pack so giving me a total of 240 pieces so i knew that i would have more than enough for my 150 individual locks like i i, I wasn't worried about that and as i said in the beginning my plan was to install the individual pieces on each lock right and then twist them together but assuming I had 180 locks, that meant I would end up with only like 90 twists in my hair. And I don't know about y'all, but that's just not full enough for me. I honestly wish, I don't know why I didn't think about this in the first place, but I honestly wish I had just twisted my locks with the crochet hair instead of twisting um, them together because that would have just given me more volume. So rather than twist two, um, pieces together I should have just taken one piece and twisted it with my individual lock and that way I would have had at least 150 or 100 180 um, pieces in my head and I, I feel like that's really what I was looking for I really wanted more volume but don't worry I figured out a fix for that which brings me to my fourth point this hair is so tiny like the hair itself, the loop itself, everything about the hair is just so small. So because of that, I was able to go back and add multiple crochet hair to one part. So I had originally used only five packs of hair, but I went back the next day and added the remaining three packs, okay? I immediately loved how much fuller it looked compared to the previous day. Like, I could just see more volume and... I like the way better point number five so technically I have 240 pieces in my hair I used every single one of them but let me be the one to tell you guys that this thing is so light I can't even like I, I can't tell that I have 240 pieces you know if I had a different hair and I've worked with crochet hair before I just feel like 240 is such a huge number that you probably be like is this not gonna hurt my neck well y'all it's so light and I feel like if I added more hair it still wouldn't be as heavy um, at all. Overall, this was a trial and error hairstyle because it's my first time trying to work around my locks and it took me about seven hours to finish and I anticipate keeping it in for at least a month. But if the parts don't hold up, then it might be only two weeks and yeah, we'll have to see about that. I do love how it turned out and I love the ombre color, so definitely check out Toya Tress Hair on TikTok if you're interested. Let me know if y'all have any questions. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.